Hi Pisces, it's Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot. We are doing a, a Tarot Time Tarot reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the Lightseer's Tarot deck. Super popular, super uh, well used all around the internet because it's so evocative. I'm using the Pocket Edition because it's it's nice and dainty. Uh, I'll go ahead and give it a good shuffle for you, and I'll meet you on the other side of the shuffle for your reading. See you there. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we've got. Ooh. The tower. The page of wands. The four of cups. And the two of swords. All right, give me a moment. I have to turn down my woo-woo chanty music here because I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm getting a little distracted. All right, so I always start with this card as the kind of where we find ourselves. The Two of Swords is kind of that should I stay or should I go moment. Um, being in a place of indecision it's having a couple of choices and neither of them being super obvious or great. Um, this could be, uh, you know, knowing that the job you're at, like a day job, is kind of toxic, but knowing you need the money and not having something else lined up yet. Um, but not being in a healthy place to find another job while you're at this toxic environment or having the time to find another job while you've still got this day job kind of a situation. It could be, um, you know, having to choose between two people like in a romantic sense, um, you know, whether you're in love or in lust or just don't want to be on your own, not really sure which option is the better one or kind of being attached to both, um, but getting ultimatums from one or both. This could also be a living situation. Do I need to stay with this roommate? I'd rather be on my own or I can't afford to be on my own, but this roommate, you get the idea, Pisces, you're smart. Um, it, you can see on this art too, not only are these kind of birds um, kind of hassling the central character here, but behind this uh, central character is a crossroads. So it's not just about the choice, it's being at a crossroads. There's a decision here that it isn't about making the perfect choice. It's kind of about this choice kind of leading you down a separate path that means a different chapter of your life. Like if you leave this job, just as one instance, this might not be your situation, but if you leave this job without having something else lined up and you have to move back in with the parents or you have to rely on your partner's income for a while or you have to live in your car, maybe that will inspire you to make choices that you would not have made if you kept the safety of this toxic job. And maybe that's better. Maybe that'll lead you to a more interesting place. Maybe maybe the toxic job is keeping you stuck. I can't, uh, you know, this card isn't uh, suggesting the solution. This card is pointing out you're at a crossroads and this is a, this is a significant decision. Um, so giving this 
it's validating that you're in a place where you have a significant decision to make and it should not be, um, you can't keep putting it off anymore. A decision needs to be made, right? Um, because, and just to underscore this point, Pisces, we have the tower. And the tower comes up for me typically with, uh, in moments where um, if I procrastinate too much in these, a decision has to be made or an action has to be taken kind of moment. Oh, I'm too much in the shot. <laughs> um, if I procrastinate too much on taking an action or making a decision, uh, then I get an overly dramatic tower moment. Now, I love in this particular artist's rendering, let's get a good, I hope we can see this. In this artist's rendering, it's a, a kind of a beautiful, like it's just, it's, um, it's kind of lightning hitting a tree and there's butterflies and the little squirrel is like, oh no, what a exciting thunderstorm. But in traditional depic depictions of the tower, you've seen them. You know, it's a, it's a crumbling down of, you know, a building, an old building, an old tower, an old foundation, and people are falling out of the building. And it's, and people on the, watching it, you know, on the ground are um, horrified and, you know, running for, you know, dear life. It's very dramatic, typically, in most depictions. Now, I will say this. I don't hate the tower because the tower tells us that something that is broken and needed to be fixed is falling away it is it is shifting it is broken it is falling away and and it usually it's it's it didn't have to be dramatic but because um you know it could no longer stand it had to fall apart so now we have to make now we have to make the choice now we have to deal with the fact that the toxic work environment or the terrible you know living situation or whatever it is, or both, you know, romantic options, believe whatever it is, you know, now we have to deal with the repercussions of that. Um, and the decision is made for us. But more than that, um, what happens is it's, it's an institution or it's a, it's a foundation that was crummy anyway, or it was a job that we didn't want to be at that was only ever going to be temporary or it was a relationship with somebody that we didn't really like but we were kind of bored and we didn't have a better option or that kind of thing right it was something that wasn't a great fit to begin with and it was something that we should have fixed or should have moved on from or or, or should have made a decision about or should have made a better choice anyway so that's typically, that's what we see going on here, Pisces, right? So either you can make um, the decision yourself. There isn't an ideal decision. There isn't, um, there, there, there isn't a shiny option because it's kind of one of those uh, big girl or big boy moments for you to make, um, it, it's not, it's not the obvious choice, but it's about the choosing. It's about you taking action, right? Um, otherwise, you're going to uh, get this, get the fun surprise of having to rebuild anyway. Now, I don't say that to scare you. I say that with so much love and respect. And let me also validate that I am a Pisces rising. So, my friends, I am right here with you. I am... I am having this moment right here with you. Um, but it, let's move on to this fun card because this is a fun one. The Page of Wands um, is, okay, so I read pages as messengers, right? And they have good news for us. Um, wands are typically, in my experience, creative, 
um, exciting um, it, news. So this would be something like you book the gig or you're invited to travel or let's go for a hike, that kind of a thing. It's an invitation to do something fun, exciting, creative, athletic, sexy maybe um, and somebody wants you you are wanted it's and it's in response to something that you have put yourself out for so you submitted yourself for a play or um, you um, have been looking at maybe um, doing a marathon for to earn money for a charity or I don't know, you put yourself out on some dating apps and you start getting winks or, I don't know, swipes. I, I, I don't know. I'm too, I don't know how that works. But wh whatever it is, there are some messages coming back. And the fact that it kind of um, comes in response to all of this, you know, uh, these decisions, this is somehow related and kind of... <laughs> um, Let's say this is kind of a, a bright spot in this, you know, in response to the, the kind of chaos over here. Um, I will, let's also take a look at the upright four of cups over here. Um, so the cups are the suit of emotions and connectivity. So typically relationships. This can be romantic relationships. This can also be connections with friends. This can be connections with family members. And typically oh, we see on the Four of Cups, the central character is kind of not happy, not thrilled, maybe even a little bored. Um, they are looking at, um, looking away at maybe the past, at these spent cups, kind of re as if they're reviewing, reflecting their life, things have not gone to plan. Especially maybe, like in this reading, they're kind of looking over at um, this situation, at this tower moment, um, wondering, is this going to be enough? Is this, does this make up for all of this? Kind of unsure, right? This character is not looking at, this is, this is all the past, right? These are the three things in the past. And she, no matter your gender, gender expression, the central character is wondering, is, is that enough? This central character is not seeing this big, um, full cup of uh, rainbow magical goodness that is in the future. There's more to come. There's more magic to come, but we have to get through through this moment and deal with this moment first. Um, there's a couple of other things I want to say about this reading, but let me just validate. I feel like I didn't spend enough time on this one. Let me just validate. Even if you're feeling dissatisfied, even if you're prone to kind of look at the past and, you know, feel like it wasn't enough, you didn't do enough, you didn't get enough, you worked too hard, or you loved harder than you were loved back or whatever. Let's see, can we get her in um, focus? It's not over. Honey, there is more to come. There's a lot more to come. And this is so much more. This has so much more color and so much more vibrance than you have yet experienced. Look at how much color is in this card compared to, to this one. Even compared to this deal, this one is so much more vibrant. There's so much more ahead. So we just got, we just have to get ourselves resettled after this moment. So, but I do want to go back to, um, to this tower moment. Okay. Another thing I want to mention about the tower, and that is uh, another way to think of the tower. I have a couple, uh, <laughs> sorry, two more thoughts about the tower. In the Lenormand deck, the ta there's a tower card, which is slightly different from the tower in the tarot deck, the tower in the Lenormand cartomancy, which is related to tarot, but not quite the same. In the Lenormand deck, the tower uh, 
indicates um, institutions like banks, like governments, like big businesses, like big fussy institutions. So I always think of when when this tower comes down, it's kind of the disillusion or the dismemberment of like fussy, starchy kind of a starchy kind of life of 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 rules. It's a kind of breaking down of a you know, and as an artist, I'll confess to being an artist, a, a breaking down of a sort of a, a lifestyle that I didn't want anyway. You know, a nine to five starchy suit wearing pantyhose wearing lifestyle that I didn't want anyway. So that's that's one way I respond to this. Another way I think of the, the tower card is like armor in that, you know, it's it's usually depicted as like a like a medieval castle, right? And you know, in castles you find those knights in their armor. And armor can be super cool if you're, you know, taking hits by cannonballs, but you can't move forward very quickly with, you know, armor on. You you just you can't be flexible. You can't do yoga. You can't go for can't run a marathon you can't like hug your mom or you know hula hooper <laughs> you know you you can't do much with armor on you just you just you're taking hits by cannonballs that's like the, the only thing it's good for so when the tower comes down I always feel like it's kind of like armor that's coming down you do have to kind of be raw and that feels weird you do have to be vulnerable and you have to face the world without you know this maybe this thing um, that you felt protected you, but if you're in a world where you're not taking hits by cannonballs, you don't you you don't need the armor anyway. If you want to be this character, I mean, because she looks like she hula hoops, right? She looks like she wants to she wants to go for um. She's going to go to the playa. She's going to go to a music festival. She's, you know, I don't know, maybe in a marching band or she does not need a suit of armor. She does not want to be cooped up in a tower, right? So she does not need that tower. And like I said, no matter your gender, gender expression, this is you in the next phase. We're moving, we're moving towards this. And we, even if this gal isn't convinced yet that, you know, this summer fling or whatever this is, is enough, there's still more to come. Um, and, and we don't need this armor to do it. We want to lighten the load. We want to lighten the load. So whatever the decision is that we're making here, we want to lighten the load. We want to be... Um, we want to be a little more um, flexible for the next phase. We want the next phase to be hula hoops and <laughs> rainbows and music festivals. I'm totally not that girl, really, in life. But um, I definitely, for sure, don't want to be wearing armor and thinking life is all about taking cannonball hits. I don't know about you guys. Wow, that's some analogy. <laughs> If you guys feel like sharing whatever your tower moment is, I, in the comments, feel free because I would totally like to validate you and commiserate with you um, and support you as you make the lighter, brighter crossroad choice. Um, if you want to share a video of hula hooping, I am also here to validate that. Um, and I don't mean to make, make light of anybody's, you know, um, tower moment. Uh, I, I absolutely, I feel you. I totally do. I've, I've got a big decision myself. And so I, I get it, but sometimes we just got to laugh and maybe hula hoop. So Pisces, I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you some food for thought, some support, some validation, and maybe a little levity, a little light at the end of the tunnel. I support you and um, I thank you so much for dropping by. Please take good care of yourself and until next time, bye for now.